Hi YouTube, this is WTU's Harper and I'm making this video to answer a question. Someone's asked me how to import files from Photoshop to Cinema 4D so you can make alterations like extrude nerves when in Cinema 4D and other things. So as you can see, all I've got is a plain squiggle which I thought was something easy. Then you need to go to the magic wand tool which is here select what you want to move as you can see this dashed border goes around it you need to come down here and click on this tool here which will make the work path if you clicked on that as you can see it appeared here and while it's highlighted go up to file go down to export and then you click on export and then go to paths to illustrator save it as what you want it to be so uh, save it once that's done minimize your photoshop see cinema 4d file open desktop go down here it is open scale to one yes okay as you can see here it is it's not very big but it's exactly the same as it was in photoshop but obviously you can now see through it down of course i can work with it zoom into it and then another thing that a lot of people are asking is how do you make things like this 3d all you need to do is go up to here this tool which is like a box with a green ball inside of it left click on that go to extrude nerves then you need to drag extrude squiggle tut which is what I called it into extrude nerves so it'll go under like that as you can see the down arrow you can see now it's basically got thicker then if you wanted to enlarge the size of it you need to go to extrude nerves and then you can enlarge it with this one you see you can have it varying from there and even further right down to almost nothing this works with anything that you can get in Photoshop as long as it can be selected as one single work path for example joint text uh, any shapes or anything you want in as long as it's a solid line it'll work so if I zoom in then change the colour just so you can see it uh, Texture, close that. Texture onto it. One, one. There. I render it to photo viewer. You'll be able to see how it's turned out. This is a technique that's used by many people on putting images onto their backgrounds as you'll have seen on YouTube channels like Optic Gaming where their logo OG is made this way and several other YouTube accounts thanks for watching